My name is Molly Hennigan. Today I would like to inform you about crocodile surfers. The scientific puzzle is no more. Now, the scientific community knows that crocodiles use the ocean currents to travel. All they have to do is sit back and enjoy the ride. Well, now that we know that crocodiles use the currents to travel, we could also infer that they play a role in their migration. The crocs could travel to one island to give birth, but there is the possibility that another crocodile could have followed the same current. And before you know it, you have a nesting ground. Then the other crocs can make a trip and go back from once they came, then creating a pattern. This pattern could be seen by all the crocs growing up on one island and then circling back to another. All information was released to the public, and like anyone, the scientists were proud of themselves. The scientists thought they could sit back and, and relax until all the questions. Not su surprisingly, the press wanted answers. The first question someone asked was, how on earth do you know all of this? And I mean, if it were me, I'd get up in front of all these people and I'd say, you know, I know because I know, and that's why I know. But the scientists did it a little bit more delic delicately. They explained that they put 20 trackers on 20 different crocodiles, then tallied and counted the data. So then they analyzed this data and determined that the crocodiles only traveled to islands when there was a current that was flowing in that same direction. If you would like to learn more about this topic, I found the majority of my information at BBC News.